Hey booktube, welcome back. I'm Winx and the ink I'm talking about today is my 2015 reading year in review. I thought it might be fun to share a few statistics as well as some of my favorite reads from the past year. In 2015 I read 48 books and my average rating was 3.9 stars so it was a pretty good reading year overall. Of the books I read, five were rereads, 18 were audiobooks, and the rest were either Kindle or physical copies. I also broke down the genres of the books I read some, and the biggest categories were definitely fantasy and sci-fi. This year I read 12 fantasy books and 14 science fiction. I also read 8 mysteries and 4 non-fiction. The rest were sort of scattered around different genres. Next I thought I might share a few of my favorite reads from 2015 with you guys. And just to be clear, these are books that I read in 2015 and not all books that specifically were published in 2015. I broke these down into three different categories, the first of which is favorite new series of the year. And I'll start with Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I've mentioned this one already in a couple videos. Big fan of this one and excited for the third book in the trilogy to be coming out next month. The second series in this category is the Book of the New Sun series by Jean Wolfe. I actually just started this at the tail end of 2015. I read the first book in December and it's a tetralogy so there are three more. I'm hoping to read the second book this month. I really love the first book. The writing is beautiful. The characters and the world is really interesting and I am excited to continue on with it. The second category is favorite continued reads. So favorite new books that came out in series that I'd already started before 2015. And the first of those is Dreaming Spies by Laurie R. King. This is a continuation of the Mary Russell series, which if you saw my first book tattoo video, you will know I am a big fan of. This book actually did come out in 2015, and I was lucky enough to get to go and see Laurie R. King at a book signing for it. I've actually gone to a couple of her book signings now, so it's always fun to get to see her autograph. Yeah, very much enjoyed this one, and the next Mary Russell book is coming out in April, so that will also be fun for 2016. The second book in this category was Penrick's Demon, which I read this last December, and it's part of the Chalian series by Lois McMaster Bejold. I love this world, and this book was a total reminder of that. Definitely a fun read if you are into the Chalian series. Then the final category that I made is favorite audiobooks of 2015. And if you've watched my last few videos, it's probably no surprise that the first of these is the His Dark Materials trilogy by Philip Pullman. The audiobooks have a full cast where different actors voice the different characters and Philip Pullman himself narrates the exposition. So those were really enjoyable. I highly recommend them if you have three extra credits laying around. And the second in this category is The Art of Asking by Amanda Palmer. I love this book for one because Amanda Palmer narrates it herself and anytime an author narrates their own memoir I feel it's just more personal and makes it a little bit more relatable even. I also love this one specifically because Amanda put in clips of some of her songs between different sections of the book and it just made it extra fun and unique like she is so that was really enjoyable to listen to as well. So that wraps up my 2015 year in review. I would say it was definitely a good reading year for me and I'm thinking 2016 is going to be even better. So I hope you all are having a good start to the new year and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!